Have you ever done a science experiment and wondered what it'd be like if you did it big? I have. <laughs> My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. rotating and turning things around. From a giant spinning top, to perpetual motion, to defying gravity, and... The Magnus Effect! The Magnus Effect. It's all about to spin almost out of control on this episode of Science Max Experiment at Large. Greetings, Science Maximites. My name is Phil, and this is Science Max Experiments at Large. Whoa. Oh, I better spin the other way. Today, we're gonna be taking a closer look at spinning. Well, all things spinning. Spinning, rolling, rotation in all its forms. And, ugh, ugh. When things spin, they're subject to a whole bunch of different forces. And some are strong enough to even counteract gravity. So let's get spinning! <laughs> oh. Okay, let's, let's get spinning! <laughs> We are going to make a gyroscopic whirly gig, and it spins, and I don't, which is a good thing. Watch this. You pull the string, and... Ah, it spins, and it stands on its end. Why does it stand on its end when it spins? Because of angular momentum, which we'll get to later. And here's how you can make one of your own. You will need some craft sticks, string, a small zip tie, a shish kebab skewer, spacers like these wood blocks, and finally some round discs, which you can cut out of plastic or find from parts of broken toys. Now, if you want to research this yourself, look up gyroscopic whirly gig. Get two craft sticks and glue them to your wooden blocks just like this, and then do it again. Space them apart and glue them to crosswise craft sticks, and this will be your launcher. You put your hand in the small end, and the larger, the longer end here is where you put your gyroscopic whirly gig. Now let's make that. What you want to do is you want to take a shish kebab skewer or whatever fits the diameter hole of the round things that you're using. I like to use little plastic discs from a uh, these are from remote control mechanisms, but you can use anything you want. I found that this launcher works best with four discs of the same size. Just like that. Space them out evenly, glue them down, and cut the skewer even on both sides. Then add your zip tie. Put it right in the middle, tighten it up, and cut off the dangling end. This zip tie just gives you somewhere for the string to hold on when you wind it up. Now for your pull handle. Glue two craft sticks and two wooden blocks then two more craft sticks on the sides. Then tie a string to the middle, wrap that string around the middle of the whirly gig, and... Aha! You have a gyroscopic whirly gig, a pull handle, a rope, and your launcher. Now remember, you put your hand in like this, and you fit your gyroscopic whirly gig in just like that, and you pull towards you, and it spins! Oh, and that's what we're gonna be doing today, Science Maximites. We're gonna max out a spinning rig, something like this. It's gonna spin bigger, faster, more weight. It's gonna be totally maxed out. So come on. But first I need an expert to help me out. So let's see here. Um, oh, ah, wait a minute. Aha, perfect. Come on, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Science Center, I'm really glad you're here. You're gonna help me max out the gyroscopic whirly gig. The, the what? Oh, the gyroscopic whirly gig. Here, I'll show you. It's this, and it spins, and what works in the... <laughs> Phil, where are your shoes? I think these are my shoes. Mm. They must have changed into flippers in the portal. Did Weird. Did you wanna change them? Nah, I'll be fine. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, the gyroscopic whirly gig is uh, it's really good. I'm gonna, let's do it here so that I don't have to walk as far. Can I see it? Yeah, yeah, here it is. Ready? You spin it up, and it spins, and it goes for a while, right? Because you made it out of four discs, it probably spins better because there's more mass. More, oh yeah, because you know what? I actually have an old one 
Yeah, I got an old one here with one disc, and it does not spin as long as the four disc one. Could we test the one disc one out and compare it to the four disc one? You bet, because that, you know what that is? Science. science. Yeah, that's science. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Whoa. Oh. Huh, look at that. The four disc oh. one spin better longer than the one disc one because the four disc one has more. More mass, mass, therefore more inertia. So when we max it out, we should get something with a lot of mass. Yeah, more mass. Wait, I have something. Right, whoa. Careful, Phil. I don't, I don't want you to fall. Yeah, well, I don't want to fall either. It's hard to walk in these. I can imagine. That's why I asked you if you wanted to change Nah, your we're fine. I'm fine. Okay, check it out. This is what I was going to. Okay, this is what we can make it into our maxed out spinning gyroscopic. Uh, why not? I, it's, it's just, look at how big the hole is. Oh, yeah, because we're going to need something to be the axis, huh? Yeah, we need like a tree to fill that. Yeah, you're right. Work. Too big. Uh, is there anything else wrong with it? It's also kind of... Kind of light. Not that heavy. More mass, better. More mass. Okay, tell you what. Oh, I know. Hold on, hold on. I know, I know. Ooh. Oh, that looks <sighs> perfect. Yeah, and then we got this uh, pole. To go through the center? We'll go through the center like that. Awesome. And then we'll just weld it together, and there you go. This will be great. Yeah, high five. Uh, Phil. Okay, no, wait, sorry. Sorry, yeah, you got the thing. High five. Well, now I got them. Yeah. All right, I'll get new shoes, and we'll work on our high okay. five. Okay. Now it's time for one of my favorite scientific terms, the Magnus Effect. I am Magnus, and behold my effect. No, the Magnus Effect has to do with things that are spinning. Things like these cups. And here's a great little Magnus Effect flyer you can make at home. It's super easy. Get two styrofoam cups and tape them together at the bottoms using science tape. Then get some elastic bands and make a long one by tying them together. Take your elastic and you wrap it around the cup like this. Then hold the elastic on the bottom, remember, like that. And then let them go. They fly up and out. The reason why it goes up and stays in the air is because it's spinning, creating moving air over the top. Moving air has lower pressure, which means it's pushed up by the higher pressure underneath. And that is called the... It's coming. It's just... Oh, come on. Oh. Now, um, mm, the Magnus Effect. Yes. So, let's max it out. Magnus it out. See how much better that sounds? No, 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 max, max it out. Check it out, Magnus Flyer 2.0 Stand Elastic Slingshot. Wrap it around. Remember, for the Magnus Effect to work, your cups need to be spinning this way, the front side rotating up. Oh, and there you have it, the Magnus Effect. Hi, Magnus, I'm out taking over the show. It is now Science Magnus. That is my effect, slightly improving the name of science TV shows. Science Magnus. Silita and I are maxing out our spinning top. Based on our small version, we decided to make one with as much mass as possible. So we got a 20 kilogram weight and welded it to a metal shaft. Will this work the same way? Well, let's look at the science. Why does a top spin? Well, let's start with Newton's first law, which is an object at rest tends to stay at rest, an object in motion tends to stay in motion. But the in motion has another part. That object also wants to go in a straight line. If you think of a bowling ball rolling along, it would need another force to act upon it to make it change direction. We say that a moving object has momentum. Now, a top doesn't go in a straight line, it spins around, but it still has momentum. It's an object in motion, and even though it's spinning, it still does want to go in a straight line. It's just that that straight line is here. We call this angular momentum. To make a top move this way, or that way, would take an outside force. So it stays upright as long as it has enough momentum. But when it slows down, there's less momentum and it becomes harder to resist external forces, like gravity, which will eventually want to make it topple. 
Our top has a lot of mass, which means it'll have a lot of angular momentum when it gets spinning. It's just a matter of getting it spinning fast enough. So should we spin it? Yeah, let's spin it. Let's You're see spinning. if we can get it to work. Hey, hey! Spin, spin, spin! Oh, we're gonna let it go? Three. Wait, wait, wait! I can't get it! What? Oh. Oh, wait, wait. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, Not fast enough. We need something to help us get it spinning faster. faster. Maybe a rope? A rope, yeah. Should we grab a rope. That was my like idea, too, a rope, because the small one uses a rope. Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll go grab a rope. So, wrapping the rope up. I'll let you wrap the rope okay. up. I'll get my holder back on top. Spin it counterclockwise. We attach the rope and wind it up. You want to make it super clean. This is some of the best coiled rope I've ever seen. I'm going to pull the rope. You're going to hold on to it, but I can't pull really hard because you won't be able to hold it up. Because we don't have to pull hard, we just have to get it going fast. Yes. Silita keeps her hand on the block at the top, and I pull. Ready? Wait a minute, we'll get all the way. Oh. Whoa! It's spinning a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> it's still spinning, but it's wobbling. Uh oh, careful. Oh, there it goes. It works, but just barely. It might spin better, it might spin straighter. Yeah. If we had it spinning, something help us spin it faster. Yes. Um, faster with more power. Faster with more power. Mm -hmm. This is a string. You can pull a string, but you can't push a string. Well, you can. You can push a string. You really can. Okay, quit it. Quit it. This little contraption works sort of like a baseball pitching machine, but in miniature. See, there are two motors here, and the wheels spin together to shoot things out this way. Things like this craft stick. Watch this. Whoa! Let's watch that again. Whoa! <laughs> but now, watch as I put a large loop of string through. Whoa! <laughs> Pushing string. How does this happen? It... Hello? I don't suppose it's the Magnus effect? Uh, no, it's not the Magnus effect. No, that's... It's all right. I'll be in my lair if you need okay. me. Okay. Right. Bye. Right. Where was I? Uh, I believe you were at, uh, the reason why this works is... Right. Pushing string. How does this happen? It's all because of inertia. Check it out. The wheels are pushing the string through fast. It's got some weight and it's got some speed, which means it has some inertia. So when it goes this way, it wants to keep going this way. But it goes all the way to the end and then, because it's a loop, it gets sucked back in this way. Which means all of this inertia, you can sort of overcome gravity. Pushing string. Science. Silita and I need to get our maxed out top spinning faster. We tried a rope, but now we're trying a drill. We get a wheel on our drill and use it on the outside of the weight to get it spinning up. A little faster. Oh, it's coming now. A little more. Okay. And release. Whoa! It's kind of cool that it wobbles that much and it, it doesn't does. hit the ground. It worked better, but there's always a way to max it out even more. You know what we need, Silita, what do is we need, a maxed out drill. Put it right on the top here and get it spinning very, very fast. Super maxed out gyroscope okay. whirly gig. gig. Is it just the top now? Gyros I don't know. Do you want to call it a gyroscope? We could call it a gyroscope. Well, it's, a, it's sort of a toppy, kind of gyroscopy. This is a bike tire. It's pretty light, but I still can't hold it from the end of the pole like this with one hand. Ugh, nope, nope. But I can if I get it spinning fast enough. I just use this drill and then I get... Okay, so this is gonna be awfully hard to do with one person. Uh, oh, this is the perfect opportunity to use the Trevor button. <laughs> Trevor button. Hey, Trevor from the Science Max build team. Uh, what are you doing? Maxing this out. Oh, right on. Can you give me a hand for a second? Sure. Awesome. Okay, so you take this, this drill, and we're gonna get this wheel spinning really fast. Okay. I don't know if it's, um... No, no, I don't wanna know. I don't know if I remember to... No, it's fine. Max it out. We gotta max it out. So, B, 
Because it's spinning, I can hold this heavy weight in the air. How is this possible? Because the wheel is basically a top. The forces that prevent a top tipping, angular momentum, are still working here. This angular momentum resists a change in direction this way, which is how gravity would want it to tip. Interestingly, these same forces also keep it spinning around me in a circle. So I can lift a heavy weight in the air just by spinning it. Awesome max head experiment, Trevor. Yeah. What was that? It's my science confetti high five I just made. Well, you know what we should do? What? We should max it out. Yeah, we can make a giant one and then a whole bunch of confetti in it, and then people like jump up and do more confetti that would come out, right? And then so what would happen is there would be all this con Trevor? Silita and I have maxed out our spinning top. The trick is getting something that heavy to spin really fast. We've tried a rope and a drill, but now we have a maxed out drill. So more power and more speed, which is perfect for spinning this massive top. Yes, and perfect for maxing out anything. We get it spinning and it works great. The top spins for a really long time. In fact, its mass was so large, it started drilling a hole in the concrete floor. We tried it again, but started to notice something. The drill is smoking quite significantly. Our drill began to overheat. Why? Good old Newton's first law. An object at rest wants to stay at rest, and an object in motion wants to stay in motion. The more mass we have in motion, the longer it will stay in motion. This will go forever. Well, not forever, well, not but forever. It, it'll go a really long time because it's got a lot of weight. But that same mass wants to stay at rest when it's not moving. We have to overcome all that mass wanting to stay at rest to get the top spinning. And even for our maxed out drill, that was a tough job. But once it was spinning, there was only one thing to do. Max it out even more! Silita and I come up with a plan to max out the top by riding it. You want to ride the top? Of course I want to ride the top! We can both ride the top. One person's going to have to drill this, so we'll have to take turns. Max Historica. This is Leonardo da Vinci, one of the greatest scientific minds the world has ever seen. And this is a wheel. Da Vinci thought to himself, wouldn't it be great to design a wheel that kept spinning forever? So he got to work. Something to keep spinning forever without stopping is called a perpetual motion machine. And it was an obsession of da Vinci's. Why, this is great. The bottles tip the water to the outside, making one side of the wheel heavier, which will keep it spinning forever! <laughs> Except it doesn't work. You see, what Da Vinci doesn't know is that science says a perpetual motion machine is impossible. But of course it wasn't for another 350 years till scientists figured that out. So we can't tell Da Vinci. Uh, what? Oh, uh, never mind. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci, one of the greatest inventors ever. Even if not all of his inventions worked. <laughs> Silita and I got our maxed out spinning top to work pretty well. The only thing left to do was to ride it. We attached a large disc and a Lazy Susan. That's a platform that spins around on ball bearings. Lazy Susan on top. Lazy Susan. So that and you can ride on it. Yes, and then we wanted to add this extra bit. Now, why did we want to add this? We need a little bit more um, weight on our top. Okay, so who gets to ride it? Um, I feel like you should ride it. I think you might because be right. Because I want to use oh, the drill. The super awesome maxed out drill. Okay, so let's do it. First thing I should say is do not, do not try this at home. We are trained scientists. Silita uses the drill to get it spinning while I hold it steady. Then I hold on to our safety line above and carefully rest my weight on the top. It works, but not for long. We take turns trying it out, but it seems we have another part of science working against us. Good old friction. Friction with the air and with the ground is what eventually slows the spinning top down but our weight on the ball bearings of the Lazy Susan really increases the friction. More friction means the top slows down a lot faster. <laughs> Whoa! 
<laughs> that was pretty cool. It was kind of terrifying, right? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Good old Newton's first law kept the top spinning, angular momentum kept it from falling over, and friction slowed it back down. The forces were always the same, no matter if it was a little top, a maxed out top, or a rideable one. There you go, Science Max. Experiments at large, giant spinning top. That's a spinning. That's as large a spinning top as I think you. I think in the entire world. Let's do it again. Yeah! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ho ho! Science madness! Over to you. It's quite difficult to do with gloves on. 